Yeah, me, the main character, or one of the main protagonists. You think you stand a chance? <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe. Look at the damage piling it up despite the nerfs. Is this the last set? Second to the last set. Do you want to walk in, Duckbird? And you don't see that often. Down back to E plus 4. The Sabaki kick. On point. Let's go, Mundi. Jared changing his energy right now. Going for the one who goes battle after battle, not the one who's saying, go easy on me. <laughs> Gonna show us why he's, why he's OP. Maybe, maybe. Copy paste. The pin comment's gonna get updated in just a second. So EJ still does not have an opponent for tonight. So if anyone would like to walk in right now, your opponent will be EJ. Ooh, I like doing that too. Just crouching and walking in the face. It's like, hey, 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 look, I'm gonna do the low, I'm gonna do the low. So the pin comment is now officially updated. With the 7 win streak, soon to be 8, but it could be M's instead from 2 to 3. But the follow up damage cast is also DF2. They're conserving energy. I'd say no more. It's EJ versus somebody. Or a repeat player. Maybe. As we move on to round number 4. Good punish right here from M. Is that my preferred punish? Probably not. That was, I believe, negative 12. Back. SS21. Oh, forward dash. Oh, unable yet the clean hit. See, this is what I mean by the clean hit. They nerfed it way too much. That was really, literally right in front of Josie versus Geese. Yeah, exactly, right? You were right in front of Hayashi's face already. That's what's annoying about it. Yeah, I have a bad signal. Alright, say no more, man. Lots of walk-in cheese. Yeah, because today's Thursday. This is probably the only time Dojang exhibitions will happen on a Thursday. Remember to wave, wave in. Walking in is for scrubs, bro. <laughs> but not all characters in the game have a crouch dash, though. What do you say to that? Not all characters in the game have extra movement options, so they don't have... They can't snake dash, which is only for QCF. They can't fox step or and use any op, uh, moving movement options. Like for Julia, that's just spinning around. And then, you know, some characters just straight up don't have that. You already played Magnus. <laughs> well, Eric's G, so... If the connection for Eric and EJ is not good, then you can sub in for Eric. You can take uh, your teammate's slot. Yeah. You're currently editing videos. Beautiful. Say no more. DF1, 2. Checking. Negative 10 on... Negative 10? Yeah, they, it's now negative 10, right? Fight. Or is it safe? I forgot. One of the two. Again, you guys should just go back to practice mode to double check that information. Back 3, 1. Gets the wall splat on point. QCF 1 plus 2. The one thing I can't get every time I played Lydia. You have to side switch back facing KBD faster than JDCR. <laughs> I see. That's the only way to make up for what you call that. Not having a wave, a crouch dash. But is that the player's fault? No, it's not. And three rounds straight for M. Mundi has, as M has won the first to two. It's time to move back to a first to five. DF1 three. Ah, oh, that's not a punish. That was maximizing the frames there with forward three. No, uh, uh, frames are a state of mind. Negative 14, no punish again. Fading some space with the God Fist. They're closing it back with running one to FF2. Nowhere to go. FCDF3 follow up. But finally, SS21 connects. Doesn't get punished this time around. 1 1 2. Scaring the birds away is Hihachi. Rage Drive in a dream here for M. And interrupting him. He's like, no, no, I know you're gonna go for FCDF3. Do they share cheese? Yes, they do. They both have a 4 in their win counts. They're both part of the 3-digit club as well. 
As the wall once more. Fishing for that FCD of three. Mundi says, I've had enough of it. I'm not gonna see that episode over and over again. You crouch in front of my face, one plus two is gonna come out. They swap sides. Almost able to get that combo. We'll get a float instead. Lady Luck shining upon Mundi. Running one. That could have been red tape, the hell sweep. One plus two once more. It's doing a lot of work here for Mundi. And wow, that connected. SS2 for two slices of red cheese. F2-3, fantastic adjustments here from Mundi so far. Looking for as much damage as possible, and 1 plus 2 breaks the balcony. Additional wall break, we'll see if we'll be able to use it. If there's an additional round, patience is a virtue, and M waited there. But Mundi rushing things. Or doing the classic cheese dojang, right? Going all the way up to 5th gear. There's only 43 seconds left in that fall. Who does chat think will win? Oh, it's in favor of Mundi by 20%, 60% to 40% respectively. Ego catching out the whiff with a back four. That's what happens when you've played battle after battle. Played battle after battle. I've gone through battle after battle. SS2 just keeping Mundi in check and that 1-1. One, one going to reach a mile away. They did increase its range, including for DF1. So punishing Lydia DF1-3 shouldn't be a problem for Hayachi. However, Rage Drive in the dream right now. Big counter hit could be the start of something new. One, two, three. There you go, QCF2 to break the balcony. Rage Drive, unfortunately, the headbutt whiffs. Plus one, keeping M in check. The basic down four to close that round out. 14 seconds. Fight. On the clock that time around. If you swap it, that would have been 41. So stark difference already from the first three games here in game number four. There you go, trying to get those 50-50s in. Hey Mundi, you remember FCD of four? Probably gonna try to set it up again sometime soon. No punish there on cap two. As that is now negative 10 on block. Yeah, slow move versus slow move. The faster slow move will win, of course. Wow! Down four, that does not part of the full combo. Although it's probably still guaranteed. Got bigger damage there. Overshoots it, however. Has rage! And it connects! The cameraman did not mess that up for Mundi. Yeah, what the announcer said. 60 seconds back on the clock. Again, you just gotta switch gears again. So if you were in all the way up in the fifth, you gotta drop it down to fourth or third. That's what adjustments are. No mix-ups for you, says Mundi. You gotta use your first stance only, no second stance. SS2-1, beautiful punish. Clean hit on Cat 4. For a guaranteed FF3 follow-up. There you go, looking for more and more of those clean hits is M. Trying to mix it up. Beautiful mid-check with that back 1 plus 2. And there you go. While standing 2, finds its mark. The Hashish! Yeah, we'll see if Mundi can continue that. Because M has all the wall position right now. Not letting Mundi go. Reminding him of this FCD of 3. Not the best punish, but again a punish nonetheless. Not moving outside of the wall. Gets an OTGF. This combo could be it. Back to Rage Drive. And down four is enough. No need to follow it up with OTGF again. Fight. <laughs> exactly, Brian. DF1-1. A little bit short there. There you go. Gets the punish this time around. Familiar episode here. We'll see if it'll be a rerun. No, it won't be. Mundi fighting his way out of it. No down two follow up. Rage Drive in the Dream once more, sidestep 2-1, gambling on it. And M will take a new gaming chair. Oh no, I prefer the old reliable. The monoblock chairs. That's okay for me. Down back 4. is harassing Mundi with these lows right now. Mundi's like, okay, I gotta give it back. I gotta give it back to M. Here's a down back 2. Wall standing 2, on point. No punish there. M trying to mitigate the punish with a, with a punch parry. 
Yeah, classic. I was doing that also in Road to Blue Cheese. Running one into FF2. Plus frames to beautiful mid check. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's happening in mid combo as well, it's kind of annoying. You know, maybe in Tekken 8 it's completely different. Right, it's using Unreal Engine 5. DF2. Fantastic punish. 1 1 2. Very easy to remember. A classic Mishima punish until it's finally time to what do you call this? Launch punish someone, right? With a raging Jeep is far worse than a raging demon, no doubt. Okay, we'll get the, the spike with the down one. As M right beside the balcony break. Ready to break it perhaps? But M's like, no. You ain't breaking nothing. DCF 1 plus 2. Had that not been nerfed in terms of damage, that would have been it. And it wouldn't have been a pixel of health to work with in Mundi. FF2, Cat 2. I guess that's free right now. You gotta invest in Cat 2 right now. It's the value of the move has changed. Keep going for Cat 2 over and over again. If it counter hits, great. If it gets on block, that's fine. There you go, SS2. That's the second or third time it's connected for Mundi. Out of the countless times it's been punished. Round four. Not using Akuma anymore. Fight. Ready for Tekken 8? Well, I wouldn't play Hihachi then. <laughs> well, while, while Hihachi will most likely be in Tekken 8, we don't fully know if he'll be in Tekken 8. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3. There you go. Side wall. Is it a friend or a foe? It's especially if it's like a gimmick. If it's a balcony break or a wall break. They swap sides. Good throw break from, from M. Or the 1 plus 2. Finding its mark once more. Full string. No launch, but still a punish nonetheless. And again, since the, 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 jab, the jab range of 1 has been buffed. No problem on the pushback of Lydia DF13. Akuma and V trigger confirmed for Tekken 8. Oh no. The instant backdash of Kazuya. The V shift. Ah, oh, the second hit of Hayachi's Hell Sweep is not launchable on block. No, it is not. It is only negative 10. Round two. So if you block the second hit, just do your down jab and you're good to go. Or maximize the frame. So I guess that's what you could say what M was doing there. Our leagues. Trying to see if Mundi would block low in that situation. But M is going to have to guess after this, you know, after that, you know, for the Okizeme. Short pushback on the FF2, no punish. You know, it's a tricky thing. You gotta estimate the distance of how much pushback there is for any pushback move. Oh, that could have been F1 plus 2, no? Yeah, that could have been F1 plus 2. Round 3. Hits you harder than Kazuya's while standing too. Exactly. Catches the God Fist with 1 plus 2. Just deny the stance. Again, Mundi letting M know that you really are only allowed to use the first parts of the, st of the stances. And M replying on Cat 2. Like, okay, I'll, I'll do it then. I'll use the, the first options in stance. Again, fast moves all day, every day. Cat 2, 1 plus 2's value is also at an all-time high. That's also negative 10 on block, but no punish from Mundi. 2, 4 punish. Not opting for a mix-up, just wants plus frames. Yeah, before, before the Season 4 version 5 nerf, you could just throw out back 3, 4, 1 plus 2 at the wall. If they press the button, that's their problem, not yours. <laughs> Ah, M saw that a mile away. Got the reset. That's gonna be additional damage. And aside from damage to the HP, it's damage to the mental as well. It's like, haha, I knew you weren't teching. But one plus two. It's like, okay, you got the float. No problem, man. But I'm gonna get the one. Oh, there's still stuff you can transfer over in the money. It's not exactly like the example Jif mentioned. Because there's still stuff that overlap. For English and calculus, there's nothing that overlap. I, depending, I guess depending on the language it's in, it's taught in. That's about it. That's the only overlap you'll have. 
Why did Feng kill his master? Because he wanted to achieve true power, man. Or you can use what Jif said. <laughs> yeah, multiple mid checks for M. And he's gonna be rewarded with the balcony break. Perfect opportunity to enter into the second stance for Okizeme. But probably was reminded by Mundi. It flashed in his head. It's like, oh, if I, if I, if I enter the second stance, I'm gonna get hit. Yeah, frames are a state of mind for Mundi. Got a big counter hit. Knee to the gut. Channeling the inner Steve Fox. Oh, wait, we jump into the air. M, M replying to that hunting hawk. You're jealous. For that? <laughs> okay. One, two, four. And there you go. FF2, that comes out quite fast. Or it feels fast. For a 15 frame move. Choose the ball scores. Woo, exactly. <laughs> but that's just like the basics of the sport. So it's the same thing for like football or soccer again, whichever one you want to call it. Once you see a goal, pretty easy. OTGF from a far away gets the tailspin after the wall break. Able to maximize that combo there, but the spring kick quite strong in Tekken 7. Even in light lead. There you go, big counter hit. Pseudo Dragonov right now for M. Catches Mundi pressing a button in that sequence. Yeah, negative 10 for OTGF. And that's two slices of red cheese. M looking to get the set point right now. It is three all a piece after all. But this game is very important. 1-1-2. One, one, oh! Patience is a virtue, and Mundi rewarded with a big whiff punish on FF2. Just needs an additional hit. And there you go, that 1 plus 2 again. Final round. That's the main theme for this set, that 1 plus 2. Fantastic punch parry on point. 1, 2, 3. Ooh, hell sweeps for days! No punish on that 1 plus 2. Sidewall, that could have been big. However, Mundi still working on a perfect right now. Just needs an additional hit, and we'll get the down back two to get that. Perfect. Now sitting at set point is old man. This will be over by lunch. I'd say no more, Lydia. They're gonna win this game, bring it, bring us over to a potential final final set, maybe FCD of three. That was quite long. SS21, can you break the balcony from here? No, you cannot. Never mind, I spoke too soon. Down four. Mundi, maximizing the damage there. Spacing it out, sidestepping towards the left to get to the center of the stage. Yes, F1 plus two of Lydia does no longer knock down. And it's negative 14 all around. Fantastic 1 1 2 punish. Almost got that get up three with punish. Oh, wow. Hunting Hawk. Oh, I thought the down one was going to connect there. Fantastic throw break from Mundi. M, Rage Drive in a dream. Spends it. Catches Mundi ducking. Side wall, saving lives. And Mundi able to do a get up four. Round two. Close that round out. 2-5-1 to 440. Both players fire the three digit club. Trading hits here. Still very quite even in life lead. M, looking for a different kind of position right now. There you go, not, not risking a wall standing through this time around. Wants to play it safe. Mm -hmm. Big low. A season opportunity to bring Mundi towards the balcony break. And Mundi's also like, yeah, I know you're in a hurry. Here's this SS21. The wall, down one to spike. Extra damage on that down jab. And that was quite long, down one. Ooh! That catches the, the step of M. One more round to seal the deal for Mundi. M has to dig deep to stay alive here in the 30th edition of Dojang Exhibitions. This is set number 6, ladies and gentlemen. No punch there on DF3-4, but not gonna need it. Gonna get the damage elsewhere off the punch parry. As the wall, Tsunami kicks to get some Okizeme. They swap sides and Mundi will be Blessed with an additional wall break. Ops not to use it. Did you press a button? 
did not. And DF one two to seal the deal. Mundi taking it five to three. Again, good games to both players. Good games. Yes, the hell sweep again. Oh no! Wait, I rage art. Oh, I knew it. I should have done. done. I forgot. I forgot that that bug exists. I'm now. I'm now. A, what do you call it? I'm a cheater. 